The Hubble Space Telescope, a marvel of scientific exploration, continues to amaze us with its discoveries, including a tenth planet larger than Pluto. Could this newfound celestial body hold the key to unlocking even more secrets about our vast universe? Welcome to Rebel Discovery, your portal to a world of fascinating discoveries and awe-inspiring insights that will expand your understanding of the universe and beyond. Did you know that the Hubble Space Telescope, which was launched into space back in 1990, has captivated people all over the world with its breathtaking images of space and its invaluable contributions to our understanding of the universe? It's truly remarkable how this telescope, despite its age and relatively modest size, still holds its ground as one of the most powerful instruments for exploring the cosmos. Even when compared to the massive 8 to 10 meter telescopes erected on the Earth's surface, as well as the even larger ones planned for the future, the Hubble Space Telescope continues to shine. Let's talk a bit about its specifications. The Hubble boasts a 2.4 meter mirror, which in today's standards is relatively standard for research telescopes. However, don't let its seemingly ordinary size fool you. This impressive instrument consistently outperforms many of the most advanced ground-based telescopes, solidifying its position as the pinnacle of optical and ultraviolet astronomy. In fact, the demand for its usage and research far exceeds the available observing time each year, a testament to its unrivaled capabilities. Now here's a mind-boggling fact. The Hubble Space Telescope hurtles through space at an astonishing speed of 17,500 miles per hour. To put that into perspective, it has already traveled the distance equivalent to a journey to Neptune, which happens to be the farthest planet in our solar system. The images it has captured from its vantage point are simply awe-inspiring. It has peered into the deepest reaches of the cosmos, revealing celestial phenomena located more than 13.4 billion light-years away from Earth. Since its mission commenced in 1990, the Hubble has made over 1.3 million observations, and reveling the mysteries of the universe one snapshot at a time. Speaking of discoveries, the Hubble telescope has been instrumental in several groundbreaking scientific findings. For instance, it played a crucial role in determining the age of the universe, which we now know to be approximately 13.8 billion years old, roughly three times the age of our planet. Additionally, the Hubble has been instrumental in uncovering the secrets of our own solar system. It contributed to the identification of two previously unknown moons orbiting Pluto, aptly named Nix and Hydra. Furthermore, its observations have helped scientists calculate the rate at which the universe is expanding, shedding light on the dynamic nature of our cosmic home. And here's more. The Hubble telescope has accomplished something truly extraordinary. It has created the three-dimensional map of dark matter. Dark matter a mysterious substance that constitutes a significant portion of the universe has long perplexed scientists. However, thanks to the Hubble's unparalleled precision, we now have a clearer understanding of the distribution of the enigmatic cosmic material. Now, as fascinating as the Hubble's contributions to science and its myriad of discoveries are, let's dive into a specific finding that has piqued our interest, the detection of a tenth planet that surpasses Pluto in size. This exciting revelation was made by Caltech astronomer Michael Brown, who announced the discovery of a new planet that is not only larger, but also located farther away than Pluto. This newfound celestial object is known as 2003 UB313, and it holds the distinction of being the most distant directly observed body in our solar system. In fact, it ranks as the fourth brightest object in the Kuiper Belt, an area rich in icy bodies beyond the orbit of Neptune. Brown, alongside his colleagues Chad Trujillo at the Gemini Observatory on Mount Aya in Hawaii and David Rabinowitz from Yale University, made this remarkable discovery. Their observations led them to conclude that this newfound planet is unquestionably larger than Pluto. They even lightheartedly joked about the need to update textbooks, much to the amusement of many. Now, it's worth noting that the classification of what qualifies as a planet has been a subject of debate among astronomers. Many researchers, including Brown himself, have argued that Pluto should no longer be considered a planet. However, in this case, Brown reasoned that if we are willing to grant Pluto planetary status, it would be inconsistent to deny it even larger celestial bodies like the one they discovered. 
Pluto, as you may know, orbits the Sun within the Kuiper Belt alongside hundreds of other objects. This region lies at a distance ranging from 30 to 55 astronomical units from the Sun. To put it into perspective, one astronomical unit is approximately 92.96 million miles or 149.6 million kilometers. Now let's venture into the fascinating realm of distances. This newly found planet, 2003 UB313, is incredibly far from the Sun. Currently, it is situated approximately 97 astronomical units away, which translates to over 9 billion miles or around 14.5 billion kilometers. At this point, it has reached the farthest point in its 560-year-long orbit. To draw a comparison, Sedna, a known distant object in our solar system, never gets closer to the Sun than 76 astronomical units and is presently positioned at 98 astronomical units. Sedna's orbit takes it as far as 943 astronomical units, marking the outermost reaches of our solar system. Now, you might be wondering why this new planet went unnoticed for so long. Well, the answer lies in the unique characteristics of its orbit. Unlike most planetary orbits, which lie approximately in the elliptical plane, 2003 UB313 has an orbit that is inclined at an angle of 44 degrees to the plane. As a result, very few astronomers were searching for objects in that specific region of the sky. However, thanks to their systematic survey, Brown and his team were able to capture images of the new planet for the first time on October 31, 2003. Using the 48-inch Samuel Austin telescope at Palomar Observatory, However, due to the planet's slow movement across the sky, it took some time for the astronomers to notice it during the subsequent analysis of the images. This momentous discovery has caused quite a stir within the scientific community. Brown's team has been diligently studying this newfound planet using various telescopes to glean more information about its surface properties. Preliminary findings indicate that the surface of this planet is covered in frozen methane. The presence of methane ice suggests a primitive surface that has not undergone significant heating since the formation of the solar system some 4.5 billion years ago. Interestingly, the color of this planet appears to be almost gray, in contrast to the somewhat reddish hue of Pluto. The team is currently grappling with the mystery of this disparity and aims to unravel its origin. Now, when it comes to determining the size of this celestial object, it reflectively plays a crucial role. Even if it were to reflect all the light that strikes it, this new planet would still be as large as Pluto. However, it is highly unlikely that any substance possesses such extraordinary reflectivity. Generally, the less shiny the surface, the larger the object must be. If this planet were to reflect 90% of sunlight, akin to the reflectivity of fresh snowfall on Earth, its size would be slightly larger than that of Pluto. Efforts to detect this planet using the heat-sensing Spitzer Space Telescope have so far been unsuccessful. Nonetheless, astronomers are continuing their investigations. The team plans to observe this celestial body using the Hubble Space Telescope as soon as possible, as it promises to provide valuable insights into its composition and characteristics. Although its current name is provisional, Brown's team has submitted a proposal for a permanent name to the International Astronomical Union the authority responsible for approving names in our solar system. Excitingly, the new planet will be visible in the sky for the next six months and is currently positioned almost directly overhead in the early morning eastern sky within the constellation Cetus. It's worth noting that the observation of this newly discovered planet presents a unique challenge. Due to its great distance and relatively small size, it is difficult to observe effectively without the aid of advanced telescopes. While there are no immediate plans to send a spacecraft to conduct a flyby of this intriguing celestial body, upcoming powerful telescopes such as the James Webb Space Telescope will undoubtedly be employed to study it further. In fact, the James Webb Telescope's official website designates this planet as one of its key targets, aiming to explore not only larger objects in our solar system but also smaller ones, providing invaluable insights into their diverse landscapes. There's so much more we could discuss regarding the countless scientific contributions and astounding discoveries made possible by the Hubble telescope. However, this particular finding of a tenth planet larger than Pluto has truly captured our attention. 
It serves as a remarkable reminder of how our understanding of the solar system continues to evolve and expand. What are your thoughts on these fascinating developments? Engage with us by leaving a comment, subscribing to our channel, and clicking the notification bell for regular updates. Keep watching, stay inspired, and get ready for more exciting discoveries. See you in our next episode.